Hello, old friends. Yeah, I can't give them a prophylaxis. The jug sent to the well often is soon smashed. A murder of crows, huh? There weren't so many crows in town before, were there? Nope. It was all sparrows before, and larks, and a fair share of starlings. Scared, aren't you, brother? Huh? What will you do with the cutthroats? What can I even do? Pretend I'm still their leader to their face, then disown them around polite society? Already on it. What else is there? It's up to you, pal, but you won't last long. Not this way. Thanks for sharing your opinion. Now shove it up your ass. <laughs> Calm down. It's too late for me, cub. I've only got one road ahead of me now. Perhaps the outbreak is for the best. Plagues are like fires. People forget old scores. And all hell will break loose here soon. So the outbreak makes you happy, huh? The turf's so dry you don't even need a match. A glare would start a fire. And when the kin bears its teeth, that's when we'll all dance. They're slow on the start, but oh so fast on the draw. The master likes them mute and obedient, but apathy makes them that way, not stupidity. They're only obedient till the time comes. And here it comes. You're right. And the people who lose their jobs, they won't be too fond of staying home. They'll find new hobbies, like looking for food or venting their anger. And Fat Vlad shut his facilities down the day before yesterday, didn't he? Crafty. Didn't whisper so much as a single word to me. Do you think he knew? I think he might have suspected. Perhaps that's why he locked the termitary to protect the workers. If it's the same sand pest we saw five years ago, we're all finished. There was no salvation from it. Every single person in the crude sprawl died. Your father was fast enough to lock the doors back then, so it died there. Only reason we're still alive. Now we can't even lock the gate. And there's no one to lock it either. He made a hard choice. Perhaps if he had more time, he could have found a better solution. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. Shut up. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. <laughs> Shut up again. Time to grow up. I think I should go. I have a lot of work to do. I didn't expect you to come. Neither did I. But I don't regret it. I've regained my strength a bit. This place. It's good. I've already forgotten what the step is like. So you don't venture into the step often? I'm unwelcome here. Your kind is better left alone. They don't appreciate my company. Hmm. I don't remember you ever being afraid of anyone that much. Your kind doesn't take kindly to cutting bodies, and cutting bodies is my job. My mentor, I mean, your father, you know what he meant for the kin. He did have that right, kind of, but still. I was the one they demonized, and that's fine, I don't mind. But how did father allow it? And who had heard your kind otherwise? Fat Vlad, your elders? He had a hard job, and he did operate when he absolutely had to. But bodies require autopsy. You know it as well as I. Pathoanatomy is the foundation of our art. A science. You truly were a loyal apprentice to him. Was it a month ago? I don't remember. We've been talking while we were waiting for you. And what'd you talk about? Isn't it obvious? Any old grudge is pale in comparison to this sort of catastrophe. I feel like this plague will become a great weaver, mending that which was broken. I disagree. The outbreak will sow discord. It will tear apart friends, families. It wasn't the plague that got us together. 
It was you. If not for the plague, no one would change their mind. No, it was all you. Your will. You've done really well, Cub. You swallowed your pride and the wrongs done to you. You weren't ashamed to vouch for grief. I don't think I could have done the same. The last hug before the flood comes. We'll protect each other. And we'll try to survive. Yes? God. This conversation and then thinking back to what happened in my last playthrough. Where I lost both Reuben and Lara. We'll protect each other. I mean, I did. I tried, but I fucked up. Of course. What do you know of this disease? They're calling it sand pest. You know why? Why sand? Because it makes your skin dry like sand. People still believe it came from below the ground. All those fairy tales of an earthen golem, a clay-legged shabnak. You know. Nonsense. It mowed down everyone in that poor district last time. No survivors. Every single person got infected. Every single person died. Does this mean there's no hope? Hope is the only thing that stands between us and ending it all every evening. So did that move them over into blood? Yeah, I think that's what moves all my friends over into blood. Before that, they were in, I think, nerves maybe, or bone. But now, they're blood again. It's nice. Perhaps old friendships can be mended, but our lives will never be the same again. I do wonder, what would happen if I slept here? Anything special? It seems like a very special place to sleep, you know? Around my friends? Out here under the night sky? I have the time. I, I could sleep for an hour. Better still is cleverness. Hmm. I thought maybe something special would happen. It didn't, but... Hey, I'm a little bit more well-rested. I should probably gather some herbs while I'm here, too. Plus, it's nighttime, so it makes it super easy to spot them. Ooh, we got a bad dude here. Are they chasing a kid? Oh my god, they are. Shit, I don't know if I can catch up with them, though. I'm trying. No, that makes me slower. We got your back, kid. Oh god, did I hit the wrong one? Oh no, I hit the wrong one! I'm sorry, buddy. Don't try to punch me, please. They're just running away. It hurt my reputation. But not like horribly. All right. Sorry about that, buddy. Sorry. That was a kid they were going after. What does it look like? Somebody's running at me from very far away. Oh, they just de -aggroed? Hold on. I think they're about to fight somebody and I think they pulled out a knife. Don't loot him. No, you looted him. I hate you. Let's do this cashier in the yard of the theater as well. Broken scissors or a needle? I guess I'm leaving a needle then. Yeah, I think I already did that before. Like, I'm almost certain, but I don't think I marked it on my map. So, let's just do it to be sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the outbreak. The theater is officially disbanded, as well as other conveniences. 
Running water. Access to your own children, who never leave their beloved polyhedron anyway. Sewage. Friendly smiles on the street. Any respect for the institution of marriage. Food, etc., etc. On the order of that big city bachelor, all theatrical costumes are to be handed out to orderlies. You know, protection. By the way, obeying the orderlies is now mandatory, per current laws. Is that all? For now. The town is doomed. Why bother with any of this? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please focus on your life aspirations. You have little more than a week now. Make sure your affairs are in order, and do your best to pursue your dismal dreams. I see a big fist fight happening over here. Two against one. And I come in with a finisher. <laughs> I'm the kill stealer there. Notice that the... Olgimski's little corner of the world is the next infected area, or one of them anyway. So, thought I would just stop here before going to the dead item shop. Give them some help. Glad I brought these with me. You should be fine. You should be fine as well, Big Vlad. Oh, we got a bad dude here. I'll protect you, coffee guy. No! God damn it. At least give me free beans or something. Still on the way to the dead item shop. Found that this place is infected, so let's give a prophylaxis to Yulia. I think we got a bad dude over here. I'm near the dead item shop, but I figured... I figured I'd do this. <sighs> Fuck you. Yeah, something new for the dead item shop, too. Say, does the dead item shop accept bodies? Can I just drag that body over here, would you mind? You grow gloomier each day, fellow traveler. Did anything happen? Oh, gee, I wonder. Look how nice and peaceful it is around. People pass on, but things remain. Lots to do. Did you find a lot of items? People are different, and all hoarders, too. One needs a keen eye to tell the things they need from the things they don't. So people get attached to junk that should have been discarded in the first place. No one ever gives anything away voluntarily, that much is true. Let's see how much we got. Oh, we have a lot. 79. I can get Schmouter. Yes. That's a must. Always. Some food, some ammo. A uh, pocket watch would be great for money, for selling. I think I want these, actually. These will sell for a lot. And I can even get some milk, too. Holy crap. That is an amazing haul. Beautiful. I'm gonna make so much money selling those. Heck yeah. Got a couple bad dudes here. Let's see if I can take them on. As long as I only get one at a time, I should be fine. I should be sneaky. I know I have a knife, but like, why bother using it when I can get away with my fists? There he is. Okay, now it's knife time. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Now it's run time. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, I guess the others heard the fighting. 
anyway, uh, now that I'm here. No! Oh. <laughs> Look, it's got a weird layout, okay? I want to sell my stuff and... See if I can buy some stuff to maybe help me upgrade my inventory more. That would always be nice. Here it is. You have a very weird store. Oh, they have a toolkit. I should probably just get the toolkit. Um, yeah, how much can I sell these for? Eight fifty-five. That is fantastic. Seven. Uh, I mean, shit, I might not even be able to sell these all. Let's see how much I'm going to buy. Oh, I'm definitely going to buy the repellent cloak. I need that to upgrade my inventory. I need this for the Alembic. Even then, I'm still maxing out the amount of money they're going to give me. Red thread is great. Shoes. Are these the shitty shoes or are these the next tier up? I, I think these are the next tier up. I think they're decent shoes. Cloth. Uh... I'm not sure. Actually, no. They must be the lowest tier because they're the same price as the cloth gloves. And I have another pair of shoes back at my home. I just need to repair them a bit. So I don't think I want that. I don't think I want any low tier clothes, honestly. They break so fast. It's kind of just like, what's the point? If I find them, I'll wear them, but I don't think they're worth buying. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep the rings. Well, I'll keep one of the rings because they're so small. Yeah. I mean, hell, let's go outside and see if I can punch those people. Is this the back entrance? No, it's the front. Shit. There's so many of them. And I think they will hear the fighting, so... Let's wait for them to get a little bit further away, I suppose. I think I died to this specific group of bad dudes. Because there's just so many, I got mobbed. Alright, that should do. I killed him in one hit. Although I think they were already hurt. And they had another ring. That is fantastic. How's my knife? Barely hurt it at all. Let's see if I can get the others. It's just the fact that they're in a group is nasty. Okay, that one definitely won't hear, so it's just these two that might get aggroed at the same time. Oh, that one's going away. Good. Are you going to follow the other one? Yeah, all right, let's just go for it. No, no, you don't, fucker. Oh, shit, shit, fine, fine. Got all the loot here, right? Almost. Hold it. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Oh, shit. Sam, but I'm doing pretty well. I can sleep that off, no problem. I can't believe how many bad dudes are here. Um, how's this? Oh, this lockpick is like basically donezo. Same with this one. I'm just gonna drop them. They're not worth the space. They're worth nothing. Holy shit, I got so much stuff. My god. Got three rings now? Those are worth a lot. A couple bloody bandages. I can use that at the dead item shop. I don't think that would really get me much right now, though. That 
that was extremely productive. I know from experience that if I just collect lockpicks, I'm just going to have way, way too many of them. So, heck, I'll trade them both away. If I can get both of these, yeah, thank you. Can't fit the toast, though. It happens. Oh, think we got another bad dude. I'm heading back to my place, by the way, to drop off all my stuff and just trying to find bad dudes along the way. Hey. Oh, another bad dude. Come on. This is so incredibly effective. I don't even have room for the marbles. Dang. Well, let's drop this crappy lockpick. Ooh, that lockpick's actually pristine. I should drop something else. Hmm. Like, I don't need three blood wire. I have enough of that. Shit, there's another bad dude. There's so many bad dudes. And my knife is so sharp. And my health is so high, so I can actually kill them without dying all the time. Hey, who are these people? You guards? I guess. It is a dead end back here, you know? And they won't run away if I sneak. <laughs> Just womp. They didn't even have very good loot. This is... This is creepy. The whole abattoir is creepy, really. Heading back to my place, and it turns out... My place is infected. Along with all of this, so... Took a stop here. Let's give him a prophylaxis. Back at home. There's a lot to do here as far as... Upgrading and repairing and storing things away. But first, let's give Sticky a prophylaxis. Can I upgrade my inventory? No, I need that special tailoring toolkit. Okay. I should definitely repair my knife. I have more grindstones in here. Yeah, I don't need to repair that. That's still good. Haven't actually cut anything with my scalpel. Um, I suppose I should fix this. Boop. Day four in which the theater observes a full house. Think our rounds start at the theater today? I can use all my swivery to make some nice stuff. Looks like the thing I have most of is black twire, so let's use swivery and black twire. I have more than enough water, so I'm just going to make all of these. God knows I need all the prophylaxises. Dear God, what is all this? Hospital has been set up. Uh, hmm. I can brew medicine. I fixed the big alembic. Uh, oh, a lot of these are just carryovers from the last time. One must understand it. I don't mean the biological study. What is this plague? What shall we do? Oh, derg. Kids gather at the station in the evening. Yeah, mostly just carryovers. The theater is the only actual mark I have on the map. Mm. Oh, hey. How can people protect themselves from the infection? You're a doctor. You should know. Maybe the herbs are wrong, but old man used these ones. But I guess I don't remember them all. 
What the hell are you doing? What do you want from me? Can't you see I'm making a cure? For freckles? Do you live under a rock or something? An alarm rang across the whole town. Only you and deaf folks haven't heard about the sand plague yet. A cure needs to be made. Uh, what's the word? A uh, panacea? I know all that. Old man could make any cure. A piece of this, a piece of that, an herbal tincture. He fixed everything, from dislocated joints to the blues. Yeah, I could use a cure for the blues now. I mean, you're in no hurry, right? So I'll make the cure myself. I remember some things, maybe like a, a poultice at least, so it wouldn't burn so bad. You know, perhaps the burning is fine if it helps someone survive. So what's the plan? Did you lose your tongue? The plan. The plan is this. Do you know what a serum is, kid? I do. It's the thing that makes people tell the truth. So imagine a person gets infected, right? Their body begins fighting the sickness, creates antibodies. So now what? Where do we start? With infected organs, we need to inspect them more closely and mix what we find with something else, too. Yep, get infected organs. A tincture mixed with an infected organ. So that's one of the things that I failed to do. I did some of those, but I was supposed to test every organ. And like, I'm pretty sure none of them are going to make the panacea. We kind of know that that just makes painkillers. But nonetheless, I think I should do it anyway. Because I want to make sure Reuben doesn't die. And I believe that's tied to me making good progress on studying the panacea. And I suppose I should get some things brewing here, right? Squishy. Let's do a heart and some zir. And a liver and some zir. Let's make some more yas tinctures, brown and brown and blood. All of my brown. Brown continues to be the one thing I'm missing the most of. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to sell all those herbs. No, no, actually it was a great idea. Buying all that food early on was a fantastic idea. I mean, look, look at all this food I still have stored away. That's pretty good. Um, let's make some zeers. Black. Oh, wait, that's black and brown. Oh, shit. Whoops. Well, I can't make any more of that. I could go pick herbs. Perhaps I should. I also should sleep soon. I'm gonna go pick some herbs. Hey, messenger. I was just collecting herbs. They just ran through all the water to get to me. I respect that. Governor Sabrov is calling for you. It's urgent. What's the matter? It appears your father's killer has been found. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll be there. Go warn everyone I'm coming. You suddenly afraid of the water? Oh, just came back home. This is when this happens. Scared? I'm just estimating how they're going to look. Don't you worry. For now, they're still right as rain. But the countdown has started, so to speak. They're the most delicious piece to me. The most interesting morsels. Shut up and put this away. Mm, will you forgive me, pretty please? Just get lost. I only want to play hide and seek. I am, after all, playing with you all. Mm -hmm. I'll say where's the eighth, just in case that adds more information. And get lost. Ha. <sighs> The patients on my list are under threat. Well, I've got a lot of new things. Eight swevery, more than a stack of blood, more than a stack of black, and eight brown. So now that I have some more brown, let's make some more zeers. 
brown and black. Yeah, that's good. I don't think I need more than a stack <laughs> of Medril Plus, right? Nah, I'll brew more Swevery stuff later. Alright, stuff is all sorted. Um, I do need to sleep and my hunger's fairly high. Let's eat something. Let's go with a smoked fish and a couple eggs. And then I think these are almost ready. Yeah, this one will be ready in just a couple minutes. Looks like time passes while I'm in this menu, which is a little bit disturbing. I wish it didn't. <laughs> there we go. I'll use that to help me sleep. Let's do three hours. Back up to full health and almost no exhaustion. Nice. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to head over to the theater and do my duties for the day and give as many people prophylaxis as I can. <laughs> 